Good morning, everyone. This is Rahul uh, Sharma from Chicago Vedi practitioner for the last 34 years. And today, uh, my 31st video is about the Janam Divas Sanskar or birthday celebration as uh, promoted by my Gurudev Pandit Shri Ram Sharma Acharya Mata Bhavati Devi Sharma, one of the critical sanskar which was uh, not there few thousands years ago, but Gurudev has promoted this big time. I'm going to explain this why. And this is a narration uh, from his book, Karam Khan Bhaskar and Wangmai number 33, Shodas Sanskar Vivechanam. I'm going to talk about that. So let's understand the Vedic way to celebrate your birthday and your children's birthday or spouse birthday going forward. Let's understand why. So birthday celebration we right now, you have been doing just for the fun because you just love to have people at home, cut the, uh, cut the cake and have uh, fun. But now let's really understand why we should do that. Outside 8.4 million different species, now you got a human life. So that's a very important day for your eternal life. As you know, you're never going to die. Your, your body may change, it may transform your, your different bodies, but you're never going to die. So the birthday, the special day when you got this human body out of this 8.4 million different species is one of the critical day. That's why you want to remind, celebrate, just like all the holidays for Mahatma Gandhi celebration, Jawaharlal Nehru or uh, different things. The second important reason is uh, it is the day or birthday when we really feel happy from inside. It's a day of inner inspiration and motivation to do better with our current life in human sh uh, shape. And the most powerful thing which we as a human being has got is our brain. The way we can think, the way we can imagine is only the human body has that part. So it's a day of inspiration for us again, and we want to reset our goals. It's also known as the annual day of retrospection. Hey, how did our previous year went? Was everything good, happy, or something which we need to fix ourselves in terms of our skill set, in terms of our behavior, in terms of our tone, what we need to do? So that's help you understanding as a retrospection, what we need to do that. Now let's understand some of the myth and the differences in the Western culture of celebration by blowing off a candle for a wish. Is this really worth doing that for ourselves just because of the fun? Because this is what we have seen in the picture, we have seen in some uh, videos and we are just copying that without understanding what was a good and, and, and the bad thing. So first thing is Vedic culture and Rig Ved is filled with the benefits of sun, which is Surya and Agni, which is fire and impact on our life. Without that, we don't even have the life. The Vedic culture also taught us that we always lit a dia or lamp, which is uh, filled with pure ghee and the cotton wick to spread the light, which is signified the inspiration and removal of the darkness, which is fear. For further detail about the dia, watch video number four, which I released earlier for better understanding. In all our Indian culture or Vedic culture, all the auspicious occasion and festivals are always inaugurated by lighting of Diya. So that's the, the importance of uh, Diya, lighting up Diya rather than blowing off. So now we have to rethink. Rethink what? Should we really celebrate our birthday by blowing off a lighted lamp and go into darkness? Can that darkness as a significance of blowing up the candle can show you any light or path or can really inspire you to fulfill your dream is questionable. So you think about it, you decide how you want to change your culture, your family culture, and going forward, definitely change how you're going to celebrate your birthday. So how to celebrate birthday in the Vedic uh, culture? I would recommend ask a volunteer from Gayatri Parivar from your local uh, area to do a Vedic celebration of birthday, either they can do in person if they are available, or you can always contact us to do an online Vedic celebration. It can be done as short as 10 minutes. It can be as uh, long as one hour time. Now, what are the various rituals and significance Gurudev has uh, written in his book? First thing is the Pancha Tattva Poonyan. Our body consists of five different elements. We all know about that, okay? So first we want to thank those five key elements so that we become humble, we become polite. We need to respect our own ecological uh, balance around us. We need to respect the trees and the, and the uh, soil and everything. We should not be just sending, throwing the garbage here and there. We need to really honor all those things. 
So there's five key elements out of which first one is the prithvi, the, the soil, Mother Earth. So we need to follow the rule of the healthy eating in moderation for good health and digestion, all the organic foods without unprocessed food, without too much of salt and sugar. So that's the reminder for us to take care of our body balances of the uh, soil element in our body. Second element in our body is the water. We already know our body consists of more than 90% of the water, so, which is Varun Deva. So learn to harvest the rainwater if you're living in a condominium society, other places, and conserve the pure water. Do not waste your water. And in terms of good health, at least develop a habit of drinking one gallon of water every single day. And that's how I use one gallon of bottle every single day. That remind me how much water I need to finish that. So that's good health for your body is reminder on your body. Third element for your body is the Agni or Tej or fire. Just like uh, video number four, we'll talk about uh, various benefits of uh, worshiping the sun. You need to become radiant or luminous like fire or sun and inspire, motivate others. That's your duty. And uh, next thing is the the Varun we will talk about the Vayu, the air, is represents the vital energy and we need to learn to stay active like air is always flowing and work towards fulfillment of our life goal. Okay, all the oxygen which make us live is being carried in the in the air and that's how the benefit is. And last uh, element, fifth element is the Akash, we call it ether or space. It is, uh, you know, global, is uh, extended to in multiple uh, galaxies that's how our thought process should be we should be broad-minded and our presence through our thoughts through our work should be spread out in in the entire universe so that's the five element we're going to do that the second ritual for birthday celebration is the deep down rather than you lighting the candles number of candles based on your age now you are going to lit the dia okay of cow milk ghee and the cotton wick so if you're 10 years old, have 10 diyas. You're 50 years old, have 50 diyas there. And do you the Gayatri Dibhyakna. The chanting of Gayatri Mantra in a group with the family member and friends, that's going to create a Vedic environment at your, at your home. And that's going to create the positivity in your house. And that will be a Vastu Shanti also for your home with the positive chanting of the Gayatri Mantra. The last piece, after all this Vedic environment is created and you are having the good environment in terms of emotions, then you have to take the vows. Now, in the witness of all the gods which you invited, or your parents must be there, your friends, whomsoever are available, you're going to refresh or rewrite your life goal, okay, with the help of your guru. And then break down each of those dreams and goal with action item and fix a date. Then your dream become a goal. Now, goal should definitely be in this four different dimension. This is your spiritual goal, you know, what you, how you want to know about yourself and know about the god and different rituals about Vedic culture about your fitness, your, your mental health, your mental skill, your physical fitness, and your school college uh, goal in terms of progress card, in terms of your grades, exams, whatever, which your age you are there. And then financial goal. If you only reach that level, you need to learn about savings, need to learn about investment based on your age group. So these are different vows you need to take after end of your birthday, Gayatri, Deep Jakna, and the Aarti. So that's very important. So now let's talk about action item, just like I always do towards the end of my uh, video. Take a decision to celebrate birthdays. For next birthday, follow the Vedic process. Invite more people to witness the aura and the energy of the Vedic mantra, and you'll feel very good about it. Develop a habit of return down dreams and converting those dreams into goals and the task. And then to make it popular, you post pictures and videos of your Vedic celebration in the social media so more people can learn about it and you can be there. So towards the end, be a Vedic practitioner, learn, adopt and practice the secrets of success written in 3400 books by Gurudev, following all the Vedas and then stay successful and happy and help others making this world in heaven. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch my next video next Saturday. And remember my expansion of Nagra Puja and promote Gayatri Puja Gayatri Jagna to 9 by 12 pattern. That means 9 new families every single year and advise them to invite at least 12 new families every single time. So you are definitely going to get a portion of that as a punni for your prarat Karma and your law of Karma is going to become better and better. With this, thanks everyone.